Hi, this is John again. This is a continuation of my Element 14 Safe and Sound Wearables uh, contest project that I have, my hearing guard system. Um, part of the project I want, I wanted to have some Wi-Fi with uh, MQTT running so I can receive and send some information from the device and basically from the base station. Uh, my intent is to, is to carry on with uh, maybe using BLE to connect the wearable device to a base station and the base station can publish that information off to a website or you can collect it from other places but the the devices uh, a couple devices be talking with the MQTT um, so this is uh, what I have I have the MSP 432 running uh, with a CC 3100 booster pack on top of it this is all running the CC 3100 boost MQTT Twitter LED MSP432P401R uh, project that comes with MSPWare and uh, I made some modifications because I don't want to go out to Twitter it's actually going off to a, a Mosquito web uh, Mosquito MQTT broker that's running on BeagleBone that's another uh, another device I got from Element 14 it's a uh, BeagleBone running Debian and uh, I had to make some modifications with that because Mosquito Broker out of the box does not support WebSockets. I want WebSockets so I can run this uh, little JavaScript HTML uh, page up here uh, so I can collect and send information off to it. So this is an example that I pulled in that was for WebSockets with JavaScript uh, with MQTT. So I made some modifications with that as well so I can use it with what I have with my, my topics and stuff. And then I have uh, this is uh, running, uh, this is a this on the BeagleBone is uh, running with um, Mosquito client subscribed to a topic for the for the CC3100 so I can send and receive information and then uh, also have a Raspberry Pi as well where I can send information so all these guys are talking MQTT uh, basically three different devices that are off here talking um, to the same protocol yeah, they're kind of on a little little net coming off my router um, and then this is actually a, uh, a serial interface that's coming off of the the MSP 432 and the example had a CLI uh, some CLI interfaces an API that they could be used in sending off information uh, so this is kinda cool so uh, I can reset this with the little reset button on there so I should see it pop up and I haven't changed the the default messaging on that so you can see as the device comes up, it's in default state, but it should switch over to a station. And then uh, you'll see over here with the broker, it's sort of registered. And you can see it uh, subscribed to the topics and it started the MQTT, MQTT client successfully. So it's an embedded client that's running on the CC3100. And then uh, I also got a message because I think that came from the web page. Um, so uh, from this everything seems to be running got my client up here and um, so uh, some things I can do with this and one thing here in the example so if I can sneak over here this is one of the difficulties with the pre-production MSP 432 it doesn't have the nice little buttons on the side you have to kind of sneak around on them uh, so if I can press this one you can see it published its ID so the example actually it creates a, a private unique ID for the device and it also what it does it also subscribes to that uh, use that device to create a topic so it subscribes to it so with that um, through the example they also had pieces I had picked through to try to understand what was going on with it but actually it's pretty cool because you can use that uh, device ID that came back here we can see it that came back from this uh, where we're subscribed to this particular topic so it sent it on this topic this MSP uh, CC3100 demo from LP topic and it gave us our our ID and then uh, from that and that's what's configured up here but I could send that straight here so I could send this is from uh, the Raspberry Pi so I can send uh, to use a mosquito client to publish to the broker that's running on the BeagleBone on the topic with the ID from the CC3100 and then uh, this is this is actually RGB value 
that I could set to turn on an LED on the board. So hopefully, where to go? I'm gonna get my cursor back here. Oh. No, working. Oh, there it goes. I don't know. It's a little glitch there. Maybe some networking thing. So uh, you can see that it actually turned on the green LED. I can go ahead and turn it off by just giving it a zero. And then it goes off. So that's being published from, I can send that from my Raspberry Pi so I can collect information, I can send information. And then you should see from the actual CC3100 from the console that it got a message arrived. Uh, but we have our little nice little uh, WebSocket uh, app up here with using JavaScript. Um, and it also tells us from that topic that it brought in from the 3100 to give us our ID. And I already have it pre-programmed for that ID to send the, send the information to that particular topic. So from here, I can enable the red LED. I don't have these mixed, so I can't do the RGB. And then we can see where the message got arrived and then the LED came on. Do that again, so got the red LED message arrived. And then we do the green. And up here, we also I have it to where it shows the text. So I was just using 255 to put the LED totally on. We've got message arrive, green LED came on, we can turn off, and then the blue. Uh, so, and if you just run through them, they kind of turn each other off because of the way it is. But that's what we have so far. So the intent is to take this and then mash this together. I want to take this and run it into TIR TOS so I can collect my audio information. Uh, from the, the noise information and then have that published when there's a, uh, an alert and then have that published out to a site where it can be collected. It also can be collected onto, onto the base station and then uh, so it can be retrieved later. So that's kind of the intent. So this is actually kind of cool running with an embedded system running with MQTT and then be able to communicate with all these different devices on that. So um, again, uh, the top, the, the web sockets was, was a little difficult part trying to get that enabled with mosquito and, uh, but actually I had to pull it down, had to make an edit and then rebuild it. So I'll post that up on element 14 with the description of this particular step in my, my part. So I have a few more weeks and hopefully I can tie this all together and get it all working and we'll see. And that be it.